Hello friends and welcome to VinMap's studio where we explore wines from around the world. I'm Susie Perez, founder of VinMap's wine explorer and of course wine lover. And today we're going to be delving into this charismatic 2021 Tirasso Alenico from the Hacienda Agricola San Salvatore 1988. So pour yourself a glass of something wonderful, sit back, relax, and join me as we delve a little bit into the winery and this beautiful wine. So as you may recall from our last video where we feature the 2017 Radici Taurasi from the Mastro Berardino winery out of Campania, today we're actually traveling about 40 miles southwest of that location. So from Atripalda to Giungano we go. So the overall area that we are referencing today is the Cilento subregion, or Sotozono if you prefer. And this is roughly located between Pestum and Sapri, bordering Basilicata in Campania. So Cilento is actually a huge area and this is an area where nature is truly wild and free and there's a lot of biodiversity going on and there's also a slower pace to day-to-day -day life. This is also the southernmost region for wine growing in Campania. Giuseppe Pagano is the owner of the Hacienda and San Salvatore 1988 is in reference to his firstborn son Salvatore who was born in 1988. The Hacienda Agricola or farming business is actually a group project, but Giuseppe and his son Salvatore are of course two key players within that uh, group. And the Hacienda sort of is inspired by the Tyrrhenian Sea to the beautiful mountains of Campania to the wild biodiverse Cilento National Park, which is where the Hacienda is located within the center of that national park. In 2006, Giuseppe created San Salvatore 1988 from a gathering of various plots of land and vineyards throughout the region of Cilento. So it's pretty interesting. The Hacienda and winery are completely dedicated to organic, sustainable agriculture. So everything is agro-environmentally based. And there's a dedication as well, a commitment to the land, and there's a tremendous love respect and ethic applied to everything that they do on the Hacienda. So in the words of Giuseppe, the Steinerian philosophy teaches us to seek harmony with nature or amore respetta etica. In addition to the winery and vineyards, they also happen to have 550 water buffalo roaming around quite contentedly, mozzarella being a wonderful product from these buffalo. As well, it's really interesting, the choice of label here. Uh, this is one of their favorite buffalo, Enzo, grazing the label here. And what a beautiful representation for what the winery is all about. Campania overall just looks like a gorgeous, beautiful, welcoming, place to visit and I would love to do so someday. My husband actually was born in Naples, Napoli, and uh, we would actually love to visit there and the entire region sometime. But in any case, I really didn't realize that before doing my research on this and the last video that this is actually was considered a resort-like place for the ancient Romans. They loved it. They loved the wine, they loved the, the beauty of the place. And as well, southern Mezzogiorno, Italy, was considered by the ancient Greeks, that's what they call the Natria, land of vines. And they loved the place as well. So from the Phoenicians initially bringing the vines to the area, and then the Greeks using their talents and know-how for viticultural, viticulture and viniculture, vidi and vini, um, this is just a magical place for wine and vines and so many other things too. All right, you guys, it is time to open the bottle and delve deeper into this gorgeous wine. 
Okay, so it was interesting. The cork broke, but still has some nice moisture there. I think it's okay. So let's pour this. All right, welcome to the Hacienda Agricola San Salvatore 2021 Giraso Alienico IGP Indicazione Geografica Protetta. This is 100% Alienico, so that thick skinned grape that doesn't like a lot of heat enjoys the diurnal shift that the vineyards here allow. And this is 14.5% by volume alcohol. And this is from the Canito vineyards. Let's look at the color. And this is a, wow, beautiful ruby red color. You can see that. It's gorgeous. Oh, I'm getting berries of all kinds there. Some red berries for sure. Some floral notes even right away. Ah, beautiful. Ah, some herbal notes. All right, let's give it a taste. Oh, what a treat. <laughs> mm. <coughs> <laughs> wow, that is mouth enveloping right away. Mm. Beautiful. Lots of red berries for sure. Maybe a little bit of blueberry notes there, some currants, uh, macerated cherries perhaps, but still dry, very dry. Very different, I would say, well, somewhat different than the Mastro Berardino, not that I'm here to compare. Just different uh, winemaking technique, different terroir, even though we're just 40 to 50 miles southwest of Atripalda and Taurasi, um, still quite different to Hua. And the altitude of the vineyard, Canito Vineyards, is 137 meters above sea level and the exposure is south, southwest. And so for sure you're going to get the diurnal shift going on, so heating up during the day and then the temperature dropping at night which this Alinico grape variety, as I understand, really likes that. Doesn't like a lot of heat, and this allows those acids to also form nicely through time, allows the grapes to mature and ripen um, in a nice pace. And this is um, actually aged in stainless steel on the lees for eight months. And so completely different method really than the Dalrasi that we tasted last time. Very, very interesting. Um, oh, soft pressing as well was used for this in the vinification. Yeah, so one other thing I wanted to note, so the vineyards here, Canito, are located at the foot or the base of the Mount Calpazio, Monte Calpazio, and uh, this, the sunlight, so the winery says, softens the tannins and on a clear day, you can actually see the Isola di Capri in the distance. So what a beautiful wine and what a beautiful uh, place from where it originated. Ah, some really lovely light, even a light like cocoa in there and really, really light herbal notes coming through with all that beautiful fruit, which is not <clears throat> 
th you know, it's not in your face. It's just beautiful and balanced and elegant. The tannins are really well structured. It is beautifully blended and just, um, well, it's not a blend, it's 100%, but I mean, just the way that it was matured on the vines and then the way that it was made and put into the bottle. So, what a treat. One more taste. Hmm. And this, the winery states, is great with grilled meats and fish. And I would say that would go quite nicely. And the winery also, uh, they also represent the other ancient grape varieties in addition to Alinico, Falangina, Fiano, Greco. And they also offer, in addition to various reds, uh, white wines, as mentioned, and also rosés, and they even have some sparkling wines. So pretty cool. We will leave the URL of the winery in the description. And um, this is also distributed to the United States through Banville Wine Merchants. Thank you so much for joining me today as we explore the 2021 Tiraso Alinico from the Hacienda Agricola San Salvatore 1988. And if you enjoyed this content, we would love a like, comment, and subscribe. This really helps us to grow our channel. And uh, we would also love to know what kinds of wines you are interested in learning more about. I mean, I really have enjoyed the research and learning more about Campania in general, the history, the vines, uh, the, the region, the people. It's been fascinating. And um, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it equally as well. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for joining me. Susie Prez signing off for now. Cheers, salute, and ciao a tutte. <laughs>